lot of y'all. Look, hey, hey, my boy. <laughs> look, look. If you come across this channel, I repeat, don't listen to a single thing this man say. I promise you, do not listen to him. Don't listen to him. I pr this ain't. This is a thousand ways. This is a million of ways to die. He got so many videos on defend yourself. How to do this with a gun pointing to this. If it, bro, if a gun is pointed to you, dude, don't do anything this man says. I've been seeing him trending a lot on TikTok. Okay, and today we're gonna react to just a simple video of why I say don't listen to this man. Okay, so, and look, y'all, for all the veterans and everything that watch my channel, please tell me if these some good techniques because y'all the real, y'all the real champions. You know, y'all the real defending y'all self. Just tell me if he doing the right thing or not because the way I'm looking at it from me being raised and born in Chicago, I don't know. Cause look, if a if a gun is pointed to me, I just know, hey. Take everything you need, you know what I'm saying? You want my car, you want my debit card, take it all. You want my social security number, <laughs> take it all. That's all I'm saying, you feel me? I'm not finna, <sighs> let's just get into the video, man. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. Uh, Yeah, man, let's get it, let's go. Oh, this is crazy. Detroit Urban Survival Training. We're gonna share with you right now what to do if a striker fired weapon is pinning against your chest, against the wall, and a criminal is holding you at bay. And the reason why they're doing this is because this is how they search you for weapons, how they're gonna take things from you, also how they're going to harm you uh, physically, keep you from running or pulling out a weapon, is by getting close and pinning you to a wall or to a car. In this case, it's striker fired, so there's no hammer in the back. So the first thing we're gonna do, since we can't move out of the way, we can't move offline, and if I were to try to move this, as soon as he saw my hand move, he's gonna fire. So we have to make this weapon not fire. And to give an example of the human reaction time, when he sees me move, he's gonna fire. So the reason why it didn't move, the slide didn't slide, is because I inhibited it by pushing it to the rear. Bro, bro, let's be real. Who finna think about all this? Who fit now, honestly, who's finna think like what if the gun have like something in the back of I don't even have a gun, okay? But if I hold this up to a person's chest like this, who finna think about like, bro, it, come on now. Like, dog, dog. In a hood, ain't nobody finna think about that, bro. You you got a gun pointed up to you, bro. You got a gun pointed up to you. Ain't nobody finna think about no techniques. Ain't nobody finna think about running. Unless you're retarded. Or, I'm sorry, that's the wrong word to use. Unless you're dumb. You know what I'm saying? Unless you're dumb. That's the only time that a person go think about, you feel me, any type of movement. Ain't nobody finna do all this. That's why I say don't listen to this, man. I mean, like, honestly. But y'all let me know. I know it's a lot of a lot of people who you know been in the military uh, that watch my channel. I, I just need to know, dog, is this really the right thing to do? Like, should you honestly do this? Please let me know. We go finish. I just want to from that from there. What we do is push the barrel back towards the aggressor, and now you have the weapon. And if you don't want to shoot, then you just pin them down to the ground using the, their finger and taking them under control. Y'all gotta let me know. Y'all gotta let me know. Please let me know. Please let me know. Let me know if this really the right thing. Like, let, just, I need to know, honestly, bro, if this is the right thing that you should do. If, if this is the right thing that you should honestly do when a gun is pointed to your chest. Because me personally, I'm not doing this. I'm not thinking about none of that. Ain't nobody finna think about all that. That's too much to think about. I already got a gun pointed in my chest. You want me to think about pulling the barrel back? Like, bro, come on now. That's too much work. Now, what if you already shoot? Yeah, like, what if I'm not fast enough? You feel me? Like, it just, it's too much. But y'all let me know. Let me know if this is a great technique to use for self-defense. If it is, I'm going to listen to the veterans. I'm going to listen to the people that have been in the military. I'm going to listen to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all are true MVPs. You feel me? I'm going to listen to y'all. So, hey, if it's good, if it's a good technique, hey, it's a good technique. It, just let me know in the comment section below. Without further ado, man, it's been your boy, The Pan. I'll let every last one of y'all hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. Uh, it's been your boy, The Pan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.